It's George Whittem for Whittem's World, and uh, once in a while a mic company does something totally unique, and Erland seems to be one of those. And here to tell us why their microphones are unique, right here, we've got Urban. Yes. Am I saying it right? Yes, like Urban. Urban. Nice to meet you, Urban. Nice to meet you. So tell us about this unique microphone, its origins, and how it's designed. What's yeah. Um, every microphone out there has round membranes. And that's the way we've been making microphones since we kind of invented the whole microphone thing. But there is some issues that all the microphones manufacturers know that there is a standing wave in microphones that is, has a round membrane. So if you take pretty much any microphone you like and squeeze up really hot, you hear this low ohm humming. You know? And that is due to the fact that a round surface is singing forever. It's a very long, that's the way, resonates. that's the way you make a gong or a cymbal, right? If you take that thing, exactly the same weight, everything, and do it to a triangle, it can't resonate. So what happens with the microphone that is that the transient that goes away from a drum or whatever, a voice or everything, actually sends away a, a transient that travels very fast. Yeah. The bass wave go way slower, which means that the round membrane that is occupied handling the transient and can't accept the low frequency without getting a kind of blurry sound. So that's one of the things that you get a clearer sound. So we have a frequency response from 7 hertz to say 87,000 hertz. So 7 to 87,000 hertz, which is kind of impossible to do with the round membrane. That is one of the key things. The second key thing is the electronics inside of it. Every microphone that we can find in this building or in this area is microphones that have technology pretty much invented in the 50s. The guy, Jörn Erlund, who invented the triangular form membrane has been working with, with, with Neumann, GFL and Telefunk and all this company and helped them discuss how can we improve the microphone. He figured out that the triangular form membrane is the best to capture sounds. Now you have an issue that a microphone have a membrane and there is an XLR con connector. Between that, there's electronics, right? In this electronic, you have a total phase linear curve. Every microphone that's made is made with different types of condensers and, and different things in the electronics that make a character to the microphone. So if you listen to a U87, it has a character. If you listen to a Royer 122, it has a character. If you listen to a Beta 52, it has a character. And what that really is, is actually a lot of information that is kind of curved. In the, if you look at electronics, it's kind of curved. This one has a, has a curving about 25 degrees, which there's no need for stereo matching, first of all. The second thing is you actually capture what you hear. This one actually captures the whole frequency region, region and it doesn't add any flavors to it. So if it sounds crap, it sounds ex as crap in this one. If, it's, if the source is great, it sounds great. So it's, ac it's extremely accurate. Extremely accurate, extreme transparent. So if you have a great voice, it will capture that voice to the point where you actually go, oh, I almost get afraid of yourself because it's so accurate. There is a guy called Monty Reed in Sweden. He's been doing like 8,000 voiceovers and, 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 and um, trailers. He's been working with his U87 for the last 20 years. Been trying everything out there. When he tried this one, he said, it's like I have an old blanket over my, my microphone. It's such a huge difference. And um, I, there is online um, tests where you can listen to all those nice microphones in one shot. There's a cluster of microphones. And you can hear how the U87 sounds. You can recognize the Royal 122. You can, re uh, you can recognize the Shure SM7. And then you listen to this. There's a lot of jaws dropping because of the transients on the, the natural low end. Where can we go to find that uh, demo? At erland.se. The only thing that we copied from other microphones is the XLR connector and the thread. Because it has to be a standard, right? Everything else is just innovation. Yeah. So 7 to 7,000 hertz, a transparent sound, and no phase shifting. It captures what you hear. That's amazing. Well, I look forward to demoing that mic in yes. a voiceover booth soon. You will. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.